So obviously this witch recruitment poster caught my eye and the monologue in the teaser trailer was something you do not see every day. Now in the real world we see matriarchies at much smaller scales so what could lead to a global matriarchal system aside from the obvious magic plot related reasons. Um, let's explore! <laughs> now, in real world hum uh, human societies, uh, matriarchies can result from a combination of lack of resources and what value is attributed to fertile, able-bodied women. Uh, we don't know if matriarchal societies in the Himalayas started because of extreme violence against women like it has in Kenya, for example, but what is sure is that arable land is in short supply, therefore probably unorthodox methods of generational wealth transfer had to be taken to survive. Um, sperm is cheap, as biologists say, and there probably was no room for conflict, thus maybe troublemaker males got the boot. But in the case of motherland Fort Salem, is it a matriarchy at all? Like which society seems to be matriarchal but muggles are egalitarian, potentially patriarchal? So what exactly is going on in this uh, fantastical universe? And to find some justification for a scenario that is fantastical, uh, we need to maybe look at the animal kingdom and I encourage you to check out Minute Earth's video about hyenas. Um, it's a very interesting situation. And of course, you know, for clownfish, uh, females are bigger and stronger and could have even been males at some point, depends on what was needed. Uh, mole rats have queens that keep everyone in line with pheromones like bees. Uh, in elephants, males are only useful for breeding, otherwise they are a nuisance, and I'm being polite, it can be quite... <laughs> there are a lot of African proverbs about elephants, and they're usually talking about the males. Um, for toppy antilopeses, <laughs> female antelopes, uh, they are very mean, and the poor males get a death by snoo snoo. Uh, quite often, and I guess that's one way to go if you're into that. Um, now, bonobos are interesting. They are matriarchal without violence against males, yay, or weird hormonal mind control creepiness. Um, interesting is that they're bisexual and prefer to make love, not war. Now, doesn't that sound nice? And then for the other examples, like the lower you go down the food chain, the scarier it gets. So I'm just not going to do that. So now with all of this in mind, um, why is in this parallel fantasy universe, um, the military has predominantly female generals? Uh, in order to dominate... As far as I know, you have to want to do it and be able to do it. So there are like two things that are necessary. So let's discuss power superior superiority, <laughs> the uh, able part of this. So they could obtain that through training monopoly due to cultural reasons. Let's say uh, they send their girls to military schools and boys to medical school or... Um, the other way it could be is that just females are superior in magical power levels due to plot lore reasons. Like, that's a, a simple way to find a reason for it. Uh, the other side of the coin is aggression and the desire to dominate. Now, this could be a behavioral trait due to, again, cultural reasons. For example, in real world, girls that get into fights are usually chastised for being unladylike. As am I, what's, what am I supposed to do, get punched in the face? <laughs> uh, bad parenting in my opinion. While in the real world as well, boys uh, get chastised because they got into fights and they didn't win. <laughs> so it's okay to get into a fight, but you're supposed to win. And I've met dudes that have chastised their sons for getting mugged at gun at knife point. Sorry, we don't have guns here in the U in Romania. We have uh, knives. I guess in the U.S. you would get mugged at gunpoint, not knife point. <laughs> and 
uh, that is also bad parenting to tell them to fight. I mean, like, you can get a new iPhone, a new kidney is harder to come by, so there's no shame in walking away with both of your kidneys, in my opinion. So, it could be that in Motherland, these parenting advices are switched. And <laughs> another di difference that possibly could be in this uh, universe uh, is that they have maybe different endocrinological hormonal levels thingy mabob I'm not a doctor I'm just kind of googling there and um, so the witches do have different vocal cords than muggles and maybe there's a hormonal aspect to this too maybe there are other biological differences between uh, the real world and this fantastical magical stuff aside from the vocal cords and we've long known that testosterone is linked to muscle growth and increased aggression it's why castration is such a common tool in mammalian livestock management but in the case of toppy gazelles uh, like I said the females are very aggressive and I couldn't find any data on their hormonal levels but Human females do produce testosterone, just that at way less, uh, smaller levels than males, and it's why some opt to dope with it in sports, both male and female, and could be another reason maybe for domestic violence. Uh, usually the perpetrator is male and the victim is female, so I don't know uh, how true that is, but um maybe there's some aspect to it so maybe motherland witches like i said have a different hormonal mix and maybe even their pain receptors are different than how it works in real male versus female pain management um for example women can supposedly endure more pain uh while males just are less sensitive to it so there are like different approaches to how you uh, manage that and like I said I don't know I'm curious to find out what um, your ideas are on how um, a society could be matriarchal on a glo global level because we see in other countries uh, the females are predominantly uh, the generals are predominantly female now, what is revealed in the show so far is that males are content with more peaceful occupations. Uh, most generals are female, most um, terrorists are female, in the real world terrorists are almost exclusively male, while in motherland soldiers seem to be almost all female. However, this might be due to conscription and legislation and that may be a bigger factor in this gender imbalance. I don't know if men are even allowed to be combat soldiers since we see them relegated to the support side. Either way, they do seem to prefer to be house husbands after finishing military academy and they can still have traditional male jobs like mechanics but they seem to be more pacifistic and not resort to violence every time things don't go their way so quite a change from the stereotypical cliche real world male uh, they seem to be quite the NF INFJs and ISFJ type so let's look a bit deeper into this uh, <laughs> theory um, what could be the cause of this power imbalance what could be causing it so for some it might just be uh, a lack of desire or a priority to have power to dominate and things like that or uh, it could be an aversion to violence fear of pain this is very normal um, there are plenty of wartime situations where males do not want to die in a glorious death they want to live want to have all their limbs want to be safe and comfortable and that's a totally normal uh, desire to have and another interesting things, uh, thing is that the males could just overall be weaker uh, the powerful families do practice breeding and husbands are swapped around to ensure the lineage is strong 
uh, and women may have just chosen in such a way to ensure that they are the strongest and stay in control. I will say that it is rather suspicious that the witch hunters are almost all men and they keep trying to steal female witch powers. You never see them going around trying to get male witch uh, powers because you can't steal it in this uh, show. I don't want to give uh, spoilers away. And so this kind of leads me to wonder that maybe the powers are chromosomally linked. <laughs> And as we're going to talk about magic genes in this video. So, in real world humans, having more than one X chromosome offers you some perks, like having backups to genes that may be corrupted uh, when the copying process takes place. So, women are less la likely to have autism and color blindness. Also, estrogen apparently somewhat protects you from Parkinson's. Not sure how true this is, but what is true is that women are more likely to have biliary dyskesia because, for some dumb reason, my bile <laughs> bladder is linked to my ovaries, which means every time I get my period, if I eat hard to digest foods like cucumber, egg, mushroom, and fatty foods, I'll get horrible migraines and throw up. Now, I've inherited this condition from my dad. My sister has it too. My brother and mother do not. Interesting side effect is that I'm probably eating healthier than I'd like, but I can't be a vegan because I can't digest mushrooms, beans, lentils, corn, eggplants, cabbage, avocado, and so on. <laughs> Um, another disease in which women make over 80% of the, the sufferers is osteoporosis. This is due to us having thinner bones and childbirth being so taxing. If you ever lost a tooth during pregnancy, you know. So congrats guys, your Y chromosome is not just for aesthetic reasons. And there are, of course, other gender predisposed problems, which may be cultural more than genetic or hormonal. So stuff like injuries, men tend to have more dangerous jobs and depression. It seems to be more prevalent in women. And finally, intersex, where we lack data. Um, but what is clear is that having just one chromosome sucks because you get all the diseases at once. If you have XXY, you may be infertile and androgynous, which may make uh, the other common sexes try to stuff you into one box or another, thus leading to depression, it seems, according to the data. And there may be other issues as well. Uh, now, if you're XYY or triple X, you may just have low fertility. Sadly, no perks have been observed, no special powers. Sorry. And so having these new information in mind uh, um, is having a girl in this universe give you like twice the dice roll in whether or not the child is powerful? Could be. I'm not a geneticist and this is fantasy. Uh, maybe the midichlorian force uh, just chooses girls to offset the karma. <laughs> Although in that case, it should boost all of those disenfranchised. And so far, we haven't seen any evidence for that regarding the session. Although they have been weirdly resilient in a geographically flat area with no topological protection. But that's a theory for another video. If you're interested, let me know in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. And what else should I discuss next? Do you like the show? If you do, go to their channel to support. And maybe it will get renewed for a fourth season. That will be super awesome. Bye bye everyone. Take care.